everybody, hey my nurse bays. My name is Brittany Kiss and you are watching A Dose of Nurse Bay. So today we are going to be talking about a highly requested topic that is travel nursing. Um, on my channel, I talk about all things nursing, um, health and wellness, lifestyle, and pretty much anything that I feel like could help to elevate and enhance our lives. And if you like what we're talking about on this channel, then go ahead and give me a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. And if something resonates with you, feel free to let me know about it in the comments because your feedback is what allows me to know if y'all are liking what I am giving out. Um, you can also let me know if there are different topics that you would like to hear about. And if there is something that you feel like could be beneficial to another nurse, please go ahead and leave it down in the comments because sharing is caring. Um, with that being said, we can go ahead and dive into this video. So today's topic is travel nursing. We are going to be discussing um, the money aspects of travel nursing as well as housing and just the overall experience of travel nursing. I'm not going to go super in depth in this video, but we're just gonna kind of touch the basics. It is my intention that on my channel, I will give out knowledge and information that can help a few nurses, especially my new nurses, to avoid nursing pitfalls and traps um, so that y'all can just be armored with knowledge and be able to negotiate the best deals for yourself as far as nursing and your career and your life goes. So. The number one thing about travel nursing that everybody wants to know is the money aspect. Is it true? Can you make money? I mean, buku money being a travel nurse. Yes, that is very, very true. It almost feels like you are cheating the system. It feels like you are breaking out of the matrix with the amount of money that you can make being a travel nurse, doing the exact same thing that you used to do. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's amazing there are a lot of financial benefits to becoming a travel nurse. You make double, sometimes triple the amount of money that you are working and making and you are working, you know, no harder than you were working before. It's kind of a win-win situation, especially if you are the type of person that doesn't mind change, that doesn't mind, um, you know, meeting new people and sometimes feeling a little out of water because you are in a new environment. Um, then I think it's a great move. If I was still at the bedside, which I'm not, I work as a lactation consultant now. I'm still a registered nurse, but I have a staff position as a lactation consultant. But if I was still at the bedside, I would hands down 100,000% be a travel nurse. It just makes logical sense. I'm doing what I know how to do, what I've always done, and I'm making more money for it. Boom, 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 no brainer. Now, if you are not the type of person that feels comfortable with change like that, travel nursing may not be for you, but honestly, I'm not going to say don't try it if it's something that you're interested in because you may do it and end up really enjoying your experience because once you get over that initial hump of just feeling a little disoriented just because you're in a new place, you know, like you don't know where things are, um, your orientation doesn't tend to be that long, maybe a day, two days, three days is, is really good. Um, but you just feel a little disoriented because you're not in your home base. But once you kind of get used to the flow of the unit, it really gets a lot easier. And then your skills are your skills. You know what you know and what you don't know, don't worry about it because you're still gonna have access to a charge nurse um, and you're gonna have access to resources there at that facility that can um, assist you if you run into something that you're not familiar with. Don't try to act like you know everything um, if you're in a situation and you're dealing with something you've never dealt with before. You are a nurse foremost and safety is is of the utmost importance not your necessarily your image or your appearance don't be trying to fake and act like you know what you don't just don't do it you're you're adding stress to your life that's unnecessary when you could just do the thing that's in your best interest and in your patient's best interest which is to ask for help just yeah but as far as the money aspect y'all totally totally true 
Let's talk a little bit about the breakdown of the money though. Um, a lot of times when you're working for travel agencies, you have your base pay, which typically tends to not be that much. Um, travel nurses don't necessarily make their money off of their base pay rate. They make their money off of their tax-free um, living assistance. So with travel nursing, somehow there's some type of loopholes in the law where we are able to receive housing and like a living stipend because we are classified as out of state workers, like out of state um, essential workers pretty much. So um, they usually give you, you'll have your base pay, which may not seem that high on paper but don't worry because you're gonna make up for it with your housing and your living stipend different companies offer their pay um in slightly different ways but for the for the most part most of them offer you some type of housing or living stipend that you can use with that being said we can go a little bit into housing some companies will offer you a place to stay that they have affiliations with and they will go ahead and use your housing stipend to cover your place to stay. Some travel agencies will give you a living stipend. You'll receive that money, you know, on a weekly basis along with your base pay and you will use the money that they give you for housing to pay rent for whatever place you find for yourself. Now this can come in handy because if you are able to find a place that is affordable, keep checking for lipstick, if you are able to find a place that is affordable, then whatever the difference is between your housing stipend and your cost of rent, is you will pocket that difference. Or even better, if you know somebody that lives in that area, Ooh, now you're really stacking okay <laughs> you are stacking now because that whole living or housing stipend is coming directly to you um and that that can really be an ideal situation that can boost you financially so check out those things if you are being if you are looking into travel nursing which you probably are or at least you're thinking about it since you're watching this video ask your travel recruiter how does the breakdown work as far as your pay and as far as housing assistance? Do they help you find a place? Do you find your own place? Um, just ask those questions. They will talk you through the entire process because trust me, when you sign on with their company, they're going to make money too. And if they're able to allow you to make as much money as you're making, imagine how much money the company is making. Everything at the end of, end of the day boils down to money. Now, when it comes to traveling, it can be so much fun. I'm telling you, like if you are in a place, especially a, a, a nice place like Miami, they have the beaches, you can get to know the, um, you can enjoy the nightlife. You can really just treat it like a little mini vacation on your days off and use your time to um, explore the city. Um, oftentimes you end up making connections with your coworkers and they'll start to invite you to things. Um, people, well, no, I'm not going to say everybody. Some people are haters of travel nurses because they're mad because they know that you're making more money than they are. But my experience was pretty good when I did travel nursing and also I used to work, um, for a travel nursing company, but I did local PRN contracts too. And every time I was there, I always met really good people. For the most part, nurses are just, we're the best, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, we work hard, that's what I'm saying. We work hard some days. Every day ain't the best day, but like down, deep, deep down inside, we're good people. Um, but yeah, so if you are able to just relax and be open and try to be, you know, just friendly with people, not like you have to kiss anybody's butt, but you know, you're just open to communicate. You can probably have a really good experience um, depending on where you go. Another thing that I want to talk about with travel nursing is negotiating your salary. This is very, very important. You have to know what you want and do not be afraid to state what you want because if you don't state what you want you will not get it but if you state what you want you might get it so um go ahead and have a 
amount in your head that you want to that you want to make and when you speak to your recruiter you make sure you let them know um yes i am a a PICU nurse, I have such and such years of experience, and I'm looking for, I'm looking to make this amount. When you go in there, um, just sure and knowing exactly what you want, it just makes you sound more confident. It makes you sound like you haven't, like you've done this before. Um, it makes you sound like you know your worth. And so your recruiter will try to get you to that number that you want. Now, if you come in and you say, um, I don't really know, like you seem unsure, you seem like you don't really know what you want, they're not going to give you the highest number. Best and believe that. So try to, um, even if you have to fake it till you make it, you know, think of a reasonable number. I, I like to be unreasonable. I always go high because if you, if you go high, then you might just get, you know, you might get the whole bowl, you know. But anyways, um, yeah when it comes to when it comes to your base pay don't be afraid to state what you want also when you are making your schedule when you're doing when you're doing contract nursing travel nursing is contract nursing you are signing a contract in your contract you can um, state things that you want to happen so I remember on my first assignment there was a girl who did not do um, what is it called when they make you work a mandatory day overtime mandatory overtime at my facility all the nurses had to do um one extra day of overtime a month but this travel nurse who i met on my assignment didn't have to do it and the reason why she didn't have to do it was because she put in her contract that she did not do um overtime and i was like wow because honestly i i don't i wasn't trying to be there for more than i had to be either but i didn't put that in my contract so i had to do it so talk to your recruiter and be specific about what it is that you expect out of your contract what it is that you want now your recruiter may tell you okay this is unrealistic i don't know if we're going to be able to get this but at least talk about your expectations um because she may or he may, whoever your recruiter is, may be able to help you to get these things that you desire. So that pretty much sums it up about travel nursing. If you want to hear more, you can go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you want me to talk about, if there was something that I missed. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, drop comments below. Remember, sharing is caring. So till next time, be blessed.